Welcome back to the Untech video two on the LinkedIn series. Uh, this one we're going over how to use Web Scraper IO specifically for LinkedIn Recruiter. Now we're going to be building this in real time, so you're going to see how everything gets worked out and kind of the thought process there. Probably some mistakes along the way. Now. Web Scraper IO obviously is a free Chrome extension. The reason we'd use this instead of say data miners because its ability to click into some of the profiles, right? And we don't want just to get some of the surface information, uh, but we want to go a little bit deeper. So let's jump right into it. Um, so here we have uh, a search for a ninja recruiter. Actually, the words ninja and recruiter. She has us 95 people. Uh, and you're going to create a new sitemap which is going to load up this screen, copy and paste your link, and save your sitemap, and uh, let's begin. Now, the first thing we need to do is pagination, right? Because uh, the way LinkedIn works, we're actually going to use a special type of selector known as a element click selector. Now, there's a couple of different options here, two of which you'll need to use you'll need to put in elements for. One is the click selector and one is the regular selector. Now, the regular selector is actually the information that you're gonna want to segment out. So in this case, we simply want, there we go, we simply want those boxes over there. I'm gonna scroll out a little bit just so we can see a little bit holistically what's happening here double checking to make sure just what I want is highlighted and it's a pretty simple element so we're gonna click done if I wanted to test it I could hit element preview alright it looks good now the second thing I want is going to be targeting that next page arrow so I'm gonna do click selector and let's see if I could just highlight that button which gives us the LI next SVG Art Deco icon. Now, um, there's really no good way to test to make sure this is actually the link that's going to work. So I actually uh, will use Data Miner here just to test the element up. Uh, so real simple, just clicking on Data Miner on the top left hand side, new recipe. I don't really care about any of this. I'm going to go right to the navigation pane. Uh, and let's see if this is actually going to work by copying it from here, pasting it into here and testing it out, which is good we did it because that actually doesn't work. So let's see if Datamine could help us in finding what it thinks is the right one here. And it has the page link, which seems to get all of them, which is not what we want. Um, so let's see what else we could, we could find by clicking directly into the arrow. It's a path, which doesn't actually get us anything. There's a large icon, which we don't want. Again, it's the Art Deco icon. And there's page link. Ah, here we go. We have a dot next. Let's give that a try. Let's confirm that. And let's see what that does. And that actually doesn't do anything. Let's, let's add some things into there. Let's see if we put an A in front of it. There we are, page two. So dot next with the A in front of it seems to work. Now, uh, so let's cut and paste that here to our click selector. Now, I think the whole might be a little confused how exactly did I arrive there. Um, and a lot of it is trial and error, also from doing this a million times over. But let's say we did it. Let's see if we can't figure out how we could have got there another way. So we can inspect it and see what we get here. Now you see it's giving us that Art Deco icon, which we don't want, another icon. Uh, and we see here, on what looks like the the class is page link, okay. Uh, the title is next page. You see there's a link there. 
and that's roughly coordinated to an A dot page link, right? So I know that they're putting A's in front of it. It's also an A class in the next, which is the one we're in right now, right? We use the next class to paginate, and we know it's A. Uh, so that's another way we sort of could have got there. But there's a million and one ways. Uh, okay, so now click once. Now we actually want to click more than once because we want to cycle through all those pages. And I normally do unique CSS selector. Not quite sure why. And we're going to click multiple only because our selector is pointing to multiple areas of data, right? And we're going to click OK. We're going to name it. Name it uh, Page Changer. Cool. So there we got that. Now, next thing we do is go inside there, and that's where we're going to build out all our elements. Now, if we add new selector here and we click select, you see it's only highlighting the first one in the series because it's actually going to replicate that across everything else. Now, if I wanted to, I could start selecting name, title, location, all those sort of things. But actually, if I wanted to do that, data mine is probably a little bit of an easier way to do it. Um, so I'm actually going to change it to link selector and click the first name and title this as profile link. We don't need multiple because that's sort of set up previously from our element click selector. Uh, and that's going to tell it to go into each one of these profiles. So because of that, we're going to click on the link right now and then continue our scraping on the profile page. Make sure we go inside the profile link, right? So now we're in page changer profile link. Thank you, Lucia. Um, and we're going to start clicking the elements we want here. So I'm going to add new element text. I want the name. Done. I'm going to click name. I'm going to save it. If I want the title, I'm going to click title. Save it. Um, let's see what else I might want. I might want the uh, most current experience, the company she works for. So let's go down there. House of Hope. Now you see this is going to. There we go. Let's use that as title. Let's going to pick the first one in her list. Title. Save. Now I want to make sure that works, and I'm going to hit Data Preview. Okay, that got us a name. Data preview that got that as well. Uh, but I'm going to back out for a moment and just click into another profile here only because of the way that's set up on top, which doesn't have a, a company name. And I want to show you that for a second. All right. So let's make sure that works. Element preview, name. Uh, and this is getting us here both title and company. Now here's where uh, Web Scraper really comes into handy here. Let's say I just want the title, uh, which is going to be Recruiting Ninja. I could actually use Regex to just get that title out there. I'm not going to go through how, but you might want to copy this link, this little bit of code I'm putting in here. Basically what it's telling us is to stop at the at, to get us everything before the at. And here you go, it has just the title. Uh, and in just that same way, if I wanted to get company name out of that title as well, I make a new one, call it company name, uh, text, all that's the same. And I'm going to use another one, another regex to tell it to get just after the at, right? And that's going to look a little bit like this. And basically what that's, that's saying is uh, start at the at and give us everything to the end of the line. Um, so now I have company and title, name and title, and company name. Uh, and I could get anything else that I want here. Uh, usually I use a title, but sometimes it might be helpful to use the most current one here. As you see, it's this one is pointing to a previous job, which may be a little confusing. So why don't we call this company current uh, whoops that's actually title current let's select company current 
done. Check that out. Makes sense. And a title current. You'll run into issues here where people aren't showing that they've left an organization or haven't haven't updated their headline. And then save. Uh, let's see what else we might want over here. Now, we could probably go through all of these in much the same way I just showed you. We're going to avoid that for now. Maybe we want the education. Now, what's interesting here... Let's call this education. And we can call that degree. And if we wanted, we can uh, use the date range. Uh, kind of uh, attended dates. Now, if I wanted to do that, I could do that for the second one as well. If you take a look at, at uh, the selector here, it's using what's called nth of type. So essentially, uh, without getting too detailed into it, it's choosing this area and then choosing the first one uh, that comes down rather than the second one, which would be nth of type 2 within the profile educational module, which is going to be that whole thing right there. Uh, so it's going to choose the first one, which I'm assuming is listed in uh, chronological. So that should be the most recent. Uh, and then... I don't see any emails listed on here, so we could probably not worry about that. I can check to see if something's in the contact information, uh, but that's going to be a little bit more complicated, so we're not going to do that for now. And I think I have it. So now the moment of truth, let's test it out and let's see what works. We might need to adjust some of the uh, delays, but we'll deal with that in a second. Let's see what happens when we run it. Now, the thing with link, the thing with uh, the element click selector is what it should do is try to run through each of the total pages until it runs out of a next button and then jump into the profiles, which it's doing right here. Now, you could click results, but you won't be able to see the results until it's done running through all the element click selectors, which in here are the page next paginations. So let's see what we got here. Ignore the first one for a second, uh, and let's go to what we really want, name. So it's not getting title and company. It's getting their current company. It's getting their current title, education, and dates attended. Uh, but for some reason, it doesn't seem to be pulling it out of the title. Now, that could be a couple different reasons for that. One, maybe it's not, just, maybe it's the, not there at all, which considering how this works is it will start at the end and go to the beginning. That's actually pretty predictable. And as you see, as it gets, uh, as it starts going through it, it seems to be getting the company name. Out of the headline and the title. Title and company name. Okay. So that's looking really good. I'm going to X out of here and stop that from 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 going through and let's kind of see what those results look like for us when we export them I'm going to download it and open it up all right now huh. it's actually going to give you the exact link that it went to I'm going to delete that I don't think that's really relevant for me uh, and the profile link, it actually captures the full name and the actual link of each individual profile. It is in the recruiter format style, so that's not exactly what we want. We might want to go back and get the actually unique profile link. Uh, and here's what we're left with. So it gave us a name, it gave us a title, it gave us a company. When it had it, uh, and let's, let's take a look at it here. So title, uh, as compared to this, you see it's actually getting us a, most, a cleaner title going from current, 
uh, because here people aren't really using their title. They're using things like uh, chief motherhood officer uh, and stuff along those lines. But current title is working out just fine. Education seems like it's working, uh, but there are a bunch of nulls. Now, uh, given it's working across others, we probably don't need to spot check this. But if we went into some of these profiles, we'd probably notice that there is no education piece. Let's find one, test it out. So uh, let's say this one, okay, let's see. Let's copy that hyperlink real quick. Go back to our browser. Let's paste that in right here and see what that profile actually looks like. Here we go. And when we scroll down, there's actually no educational piece. So that is working perfectly fine on our side. There you go. Uh, and if you wanted to edit it again, go back to your selectors, go into the profile link, and you can do whatever you want. I'll show one more because I didn't include it, but I think it's relevant. If you wanted to get the actual public profile link. Now, if you just left that on text and I hit data preview, it's not getting us anything. What we need to do is extract the link. Now, we could change this to link, uh, but a better way to do this is to element attribute and type href. And there you go, it's extracting the LinkedIn public profile link. Well, there you go, guys. There's another way to get information out of LinkedIn using a free program that will work on LinkedIn Recruiter and regular LinkedIn. I hope this helps get you guys on the road uh, and trying it out a bit. Thank you, guys.